<laughs> DraftKings Sportsbook <laughs> is the number one place to bet touchdowns, and new customers can bet $5 and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Plus, get one month of NFL Plus Premium. Download the app and use promo code BFT Live when you sign up. All right, we've been previewing the divisions this year with something a little different than we've done in the past just because it can get boring just to say, what do you think of this division? So it's kind of a yearbook style in advance superlatives, our predictions, our estimation of who the best or worst may be. And let's start with most likely to succeed offensive addition within the AFC South. Shireen, who do you have? I think it's pretty easy, Mike. It's C.J. Stroud because of what he did last season. I think we're already talking about him as one of the top five quarterbacks in the NFL. Now, you've talked a lot about that sophomore jinx. How's he going to be in his second season? What did he do in the offseason to prepare and all those sorts of things? And we're going to find that out. But I think we're going to see an even better C.J. Stroud this season. You just look at that receiving core now that he has Stephon – Diggs to go with Nico Collins and Tank Dale. They sh- they cut Noah Brown, who had two 150-yard games for them last season because they're so deep at receiver. Dalton Schultz at tight end, Joe N- uh, Mixon at running back. This is just an offense that has an opportunity here to be very, very explosive, and I think C.J. Stroud is the best quarterback in that division. 2021 was a long time ago, but not that long ago. I think Jonathan Taylor is going to turn the clock back. He had injury issues in 2022. Last year, the holdout plus injury issues and just all that acrimony and consternation about his contract. This year, everything's fine. Everything's good. Anthony Richardson, if he can stay healthy, it's a great one-two punch. And I think Jonathan Taylor can get back to being the guy that he was, and that could propel the Indianapolis Colts, possibly the postseason, possibly division title. This seems like a fairly wide open division. I know a lot of people just expect the Texans are going to pick up where they left off. But a year ago, they'd been left for dead. Everything can change in one given season. And it might not be the cakewalk that we think it is for the Houston Texans. All right. Most likely to succeed defensive addition. Shireen, who do you have? There are really some some great defensive players in um, in this division, and I hate to stick with the Texans on every one of these, but and I and I like two players in particular on this defense. Will Anderson, now that he has Daniil Hunter opposite him, and Derek Stingley, I think is going to have another great year at corner. I'm going to go with Will Anderson. You know, he was the other first round draft pick that the Texans had and played really well as a rookie. I think he's going to be better with Hunter opposite him and really taking him uh, under his wing and teaching him some things. So I'm going to go Will Anderson. But uh, this entire division has great defensive players throughout. There are a lot of players you can pick. When you're talking about a pass rusher, ideally you're on a team that has the lead more often than not in the second half, pinning the years back, chasing quarterbacks, and getting more sacks. And I feel like Daniil Hunter has never really been appreciated the way that he should be. I remember interviewing him seven years ago and looking straight up into the sky. The man is a giant. He is a great player. He was the fastest, uh, or he had the most sacks of anyone in NFL history by the age of 25. I think that was the record that he set. He had an injury issue that wiped out a full season. There was a neck problem. He's out of Minnesota for the first time in his career. I think he's going to be special this year. I think he's going to be dominant. I think some teams are going to wish they had gotten in the pursuit of Daniil Hunter when he was available in free agency. So we're heavy on the Texans, but uh, there's a reason. They were pretty damn good last year. And they went out and tried to make themselves better, and Daniil Hunter will make that happen. Dynamic duo from the AFC South, Shireen. Well, this one's a little bit hard in that there's not a quarterback and a receiver who've been together, who've been great. In other words, you know, if you're going to pick Stroud, you're probably going to pick Diggs, who wasn't there. If you, you know, have we seen enough from Will Levis? Have we seen enough from Anthony Richardson? I don't think so. So I, to avoid going Texans all the way through, I'm going to go with Trevor Lawrence and Christian Kirk because I, then I can pick my Aggie too. I know they drafted Brian Thomas, but I just think Christian Kirk is a big part of that offense for the Jaguars. We didn't talk, we haven't even mentioned Trevor Lawrence's name, former number one overall pick. So I'm going to go Lawrence and Christian Kirk. See, I and I agree with you. We keep coming back to the same teams. And I, I, I wanted to give Will Levis a shout here because I think he could be good this year, but who's the guy that naturally fits? 
I'll say Trevor Lawrence and Brian Thomas Jr. because I think that is going to be a more impactful relationship than Trevor Lawrence and Christian Kirk. So we have half of our da- dynamic duos on the same page, but not on the rest. Uh, Division King, AFC South winner. I have a feeling I know who your answer is going to be. Yeah, I'm picking the Texans. I think they're going to repeat um, as division champions. I think they've got a chance to be really special this year. I like what they did in the offseason. I love what D'Amico Ryans did in his first season as head coach. I like that coaching. I like everything about this team. And, and uh, you know, the they're going to have more of a target on their back simply because they did something we nobody expected them to do last year, but people still aren't talking about them as, as a Super Bowl favorite. We're still talking about the Ravens. We're still talking about uh, obviously the Chiefs, you know, three Pete and all those sorts of things. So I still think they're under the radar slightly, Mike. Yeah, look, we know that there's fifty percent turnover in the postseason field. Roughly 50% every year. Sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. The challenge is figuring out which half made it that isn't going to make it back and which of the teams that didn't make it is going to rise up. Last year, we wouldn't have dreamed the Texans would be one of them. I think they showed us enough for us to think they'll win the division. The question is how far can they advance up the playoff tree? So even though I think the division is more wide open than we realize and any of the four teams could win it, The Texans did enough last year, and they're the first team ever to go out and add a 1,000-yard rusher, a 1,000-yard receiver, and a double-digit sack specialist to come in and make the team better. They went all in. One Texas team said all in. (laughs) One Texas team did all in. The Texans did all in, so I'll give them the benefit of the doubt for now. Yeah, and and I I think that's that's accurate. Unless they have a ton of injuries – I don't, you know, we don't know enough about Will Levis and, and Anthony Richardson, how they're going to be because they haven't, they didn't play enough games last year, but we do know what CJ Stroud is and we know what Trevor Lawrence is. And I do like the Jaguars. I think they've got a chance to win that division, uh, but they need to, they need to get it done a, again this year uh, because they failed last year. They didn't hold on to the division lead when they should have, and the Texans swiped it from them. And, and so now They've got an opportunity to come back this year. And I think Trevor Lawrence is is a really good quarterback, but they're another team that needs to show they can consistently win, win the division and get into the postseason and succeed. Okay, you have a chance to win $1 million in the NBC sweepstakes on Yahoo Fantasy. Just download the redesigned Yahoo Fantasy app or go to NBCSports.com slash Fantasy Million for additional details. What are you waiting for? Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.